Hi, I'm Rick from Marathon Models, DJI dealer from the UK and RC specialist for over 40 years. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your new Mavic 2 from the box to the air. Now, drones, to make them fly well, have many sensors on board. Because if they're not like us, they don't really have the sort of, you know, the human brain to tell them what is level, where they are, etc. They rely on sensors and the DJI Mavic has many sensors. And what we're going to do in this video is calibrate the sensors. Now, the DJI drones are quite smart. If they need to be calibrated, typically they will always tell you. But some people like to do them, say, after a firmware update, or they just feel that the drone is not flying quite as well as it normally is. It's a wee bit drifty. It's maybe not flying in a straight line. And although the sensors are saying good, you know what, we'll give it a calibrate. So this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the sensors. Now, the, one of the things we will need to do to the craft, well, it's switched on to calibrate the sensors, we need to fold the arms and the legs in. So you'll need to fold the legs like this. It just makes it easier because we'll be placing the craft on its different axes during the calibration. And when the craft is more block shaped, it's easier to do it. Okay, so to get into the calibration mode, what we need to do is, if we click on the main menu there, and what we want to do is, now if I just scroll back up first, because I've actually already gone into here. So this is the main menu you will come to. So what you want to do is you want to come down, click on advanced settings, okay? Then scroll down to sensors, Okay, and this is our diagnostics for our sensors. As you can see, they're all in the good because you've got your legend at the bottom. Obviously, green is good. Uh, oh, sorry, excellent. Uh, yellow is good and red is poor. Now, at the moment, there'd be no reason to calibrate. But you know what? We're going to calibrate it just to show you how to do it. So what we need to do is, as you can see at the very bottom there, you've got cal calibrate IMU. Now, the IMU is the sensor that tells the craft what is level like it's not banked off to one side. So it's kind of like it's status quo. So it's like your inner ear. And if and that wasn't right or it was off, you can imagine the problems. Like when you're drunk, the drone would be drunk if the sensors weren't calibrated properly. So we want to go and calibrate those. So I'm just going to zoom back because you'll need to have the craft in for this part. Now I'm going to try and get both in shot because the screen here will be prompting you what to do with the drone to calibrate it. So I want to hit on calibrate IMU. As you can see it will come up saying to calibrate as shown. So keep the aircraft powered on, do not run the motor. So we want to click on start. So the first thing we need to do as you can see, the craft is just sitting level, which is what we've got. So it's now going to go into the craft. Now the next one, as you see the craft is now on its side. Now we want to mimic the picture as much as possible, okay? And you just wait for the prompts there when it goes to the next one. So we now go on to the other side. Addy mode. And wait for it to go to the next one. Oh, now we're going rocket mode. Let's do your best to stand it up. Addy mode. Do you hear it saying atom mode? What that basically means is it's got no GPS. Of course it's got no GPS. We're inside. Now it's going to go sunbathing. Oh, we want to go tickle that tummy. Don't obviously touch it while it's calibrating. That's another thing. Do this on a flat surface, like a kitchen counter that is completely solid. As you can see, it's now got a new calibration done. Restart the aircraft. So we can just whick that over. No, no, I don't want to calibrate it again. Boom. And just, we'll come back in here. Actually, wait for the, the craft will go into restart. Nope. Oh, actually, I think we've got... To, see, sometimes it'll restart itself, but it looks like we've got to actually restart. So we want to power that down. Okay, you see the wee flashing. Craft is now powered down. You see the screen's gone blank. And then again, to switch on, push once, push and hold, as you do with all DJI devices. See, we're back up again. So we'll obviously get the same menu again. So we just want to go back into the sensors. Let's see how it did. And you can see actually, in fact, you see the improvement. Now, I know this sounds a little bit strange, but less is more. So as you can see here, see how the markers are very small 
where before that one was a little bit further up, actually, because what will happen, the green will eventually go into yellow and then red. So you would think it would be the other way around. So there was more green, the better it is, but it actually doesn't work that way. So you can see it looks like this. Another thing I will um, touch on as well is the Mavic has... Uh, redundancy, multiple sensors, it has two INUs, so if one went wrong, the craft wouldn't just fall out of the sky or fly away, which is what they used to do many years ago. If you got a conflict between the compass and the IMU, the damn thing would just fly off and you heard that term fly away. You don't really get it now, to be honest with you. A lot of people, what they think is a flyaway is usually that the GPS has, has, has stopped stop receiving GPS and the craft is literally drifting away with the wind. People think it's a fly off, but it's not. So as you see, you've got double up redundancy. So the next one, um, I'm going to do the compass calibration, but you must not do this indoors. Okay, because you imagine inside you have electromagnetic interference. So you see, we've done that, we're all good. Ta-da! Well, I hope you found this video helpful and if you want to support me and bring you more videos, you can do a few things. You can either certainly like and subscribe the video, share it with your friends. 